Right now, we're going to talk about moving around inside of Vim, right? Up until now, I was saying to use the arrow keys, right? Don't actually use the arrow keys ever again inside of Vim, okay? If you use the, ver the arrow keys in Vim, people will laugh at you and your reputation will be ruined. All of your finances will just crumble before your eyes. No, it's bad, okay? Well, you can do it, of course, but Vim is all about saving time in the normal things that you do. And think about it, if you have your hands there on the home row key typing away, it's obnoxious to move your hand over and use the arrow keys and then go back. That's just extra split seconds that you're wasting. And if you do that hundreds of times a day, that adds up to a lot of time that you spend. So what we're going to do is learn in Vim, you can navigate around by keeping your hands right there on the home row keys. With your right hand, you can type in H, J, K, and L, right? So let's look at this diagram. Wow. In this diagram, you see the H, J, K, and L keys, whatever. You'll use your pointer finger on your right hand to hit H and J together, right? Like you would if you're regularly typing home row. Uh, use K with your middle finger and L with your ring finger, right? So take a look at J for a second. What does J look like? It looks like a down arrow, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, because J is in fact down the equivalent of pressing the down arrow. Uh, if you're inside of normal mode in Vim, it will go down. If you hit K, it'll go up. So you have the down arrow and the up arrow right there, right? J and K, bam. So look at H now. H is on the left side of that, right? And so intuitively, H is left arrow key. And L is there on the right side of the keys, so L is, in fact, right. So let's go into a little example then, shall we? So we can get this locked into your digits. Okay, so inside the terminal, we'll enter into this little text file that I made ahead of time. And this will be in the show notes, so you can copy-paste it and practice for yourself. So you see this uber, super, ugly, bunk, low-tech maze that I made here? This is so you can uh, practice these arrow keys, right? And so what I want you to do is use these newfound HJKL movement keys inside of them to trace the pattern that these hashtags are making, right? So you can start and press L, 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 L. L, J, J, L, 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 K, L, L, you know, whatever, until you complete it all the way to the end. Feel free to do this multiple times, because once again, Vim is all about muscle memory, right? So you just want to do this over and over again to where you don't even have to think about, oh, well, is J down or oh, K, what, uh, until it feels completely natural and comfortable, right? Just as natural and comfortable as using the arrow keys, but this time you'll be even faster, even better, even harder, even stronger than you were before. What? <laughs> You thought that was over, didn't you? Uh, there's just one more thing I want to mention before we part, is that you can also use these HJKL navigation keys inside of visual mode along with normal mode. So if you want to highlight stuff, use HJKL. Don't use those arrow keys like a loser. Um, keep in mind, if you're inside of insert mode, it's not going to work, of course. If you type HJKL inside of insert mode, H and J and K and L will appear on the screen and you'll look like a fool. So just keep that in mind. Goodbye.